Hey there! Welcome back to the Noctis on YouTube. The large aircraft design company Boeing is currently reported to be working on modernizing two 7478 aircraft to replace the older variant of Air Force One. As it is known, the first Boeing 747 Air Force One began operation on January 26, 1990. Since then, two Boeing 747-200B models, classified as VC-25A by the United States Air Force, have been in operation until now. These aircraft will be replaced by the Boeing 7478 and VC-25B as the new Air Force One with a more modern design. The plan for the latest Air Force One was first announced by former President of the United States Donald Trump in an exclusive interview on Good Morning America. He mentioned that the aircraft's color scheme would change from its original white and navy blue to match the colors of the United States national flag – white, red and blue. Trump also revealed the design of the new Air Force One, which resembled a design previously introduced by Raymond Lowey during President John F. Kennedy's administration. Reactions to this Air Force One makeover varied, but despite President Biden's initial reluctance to address the issue, he eventually decided to revert to the original color scheme due to the higher cost associated with the new one. The retrofit cost for these two new aircraft is estimated to be around $3.9 billion, though some reports suggest it could reach $5 billion. Interior changes in the aircraft include upgrades to the conference room, the president's bedroom, aircraft tables and seats, the kitchen, medical bay, and enhanced security systems. The conference room in particular will be designed to resemble a high-tech meeting space in the sky, equipped with various advanced gadgets and featuring neutral colors such as white, black and blue to create a comfortable and modern atmosphere. This is a departure from the previous interior design, which was dominated by brown tones with wooden tables and leather chairs, giving it a more old-fashioned and classic look. Furthermore, the aircraft's kitchen area will be expanded and designed with a Michelin star restaurant concept, replacing the previously cramped space. With the larger kitchen design, the staff will be able to prepare more than 2,000 meals. Similar to the conference room, the kitchen's interior will feature black, white, blue and silver accents, providing a modern and clean appearance compared to the previous kitchen design. The new Air Force One will also feature a state-of-the-art medical bay with advanced healthcare technology. This medical bay will be located in the office area and can be used for emergency medical procedures. In addition to that, Boeing is revamping the President's bedroom by adding a queen-sized bed, a sofa, a larger space and a large flat-screen TV. This is in contrast to the previous bedroom which only had a single bed, a leather sofa, and a smaller room. The new Air Force One will also be equipped with advanced security and protection systems in case of an attack, including the possibility of a nuclear explosion on the ground. The aircraft will have protection against electromagnetic pulses, EMP, that can result from a nuclear explosion although its actual effectiveness will depend on the intensity and proximity of the explosion to the aircraft. Additionally, the aircraft's windows are designed to be bulletproof and provide protection against ground-to-air missiles. The specifics of the protection against ground-to-air missiles are classified, but it likely includes missile warning systems, diversion systems, and the ability to disrupt missile tracking systems. The latest Air Force One will also receive upgrades to its generators to provide more power to the aircraft. The aircraft's electrical system will continue to be powered by turbine engine propellers. These engines cost $22 billion and will support communication technology, 
avionics defense systems, and more. Additionally, the speed of Air Force One will be increased by up to five times. A California-based startup company claims it will build a supersonic Mach 1.8 aircraft after signing a contract with the United States Air Force. Another contractor from Atlanta, Hermia's Corporation, is reportedly receiving investment from the United States Air Force to create 20 aircraft seats that can transport passengers from New York to London in just 90 minutes. According to Boeing's contract, the new Air Force One, the Boeing VC-25B and 7478, is scheduled to be delivered in 2028. Meanwhile, the old aircraft, VC-25A and 747-200B, will be displayed in museums so that visitors can observe the luxurious interior and advanced technology of these aircraft. The design of the latest Air Force One resembles Donald Trump's private jet. However, the new Air Force One is larger, measuring 76.2 meters in length, compared to the old Air Force One, which was 70.7 meters long. The new Air Force One will also have four GENX-2B engines that are expected to reduce CO2 emissions. The aircraft will be released with 16 tons less of carbon dioxide. The new Air Force One will also have an integrated air stair, allowing the President to board and disembark from the aircraft via the cargo deck at airports that lack the infrastructure to support a Boeing 747. This air stair is located on the left side of the aircraft, just behind the presidential seal. However, one of the drawbacks of the new Air Force One is that it will not have air-to-air -air refueling capability, similar to the VC-25A model. This could be a disadvantage in crisis situations where extended airborne command capability may be needed. To add air-to-air -air refueling capability, Boeing would need to connect additional fuel ports to the fuel system and meet relevant certification standards. This would involve significant modifications to various parts of the aircraft fuselage, weight redistribution and balance. Boeing has been working on this project for several years and has stated that it is expected to be completed by 2027. However, the project has faced various delays, from the COVID-19 pandemic to contractor disputes, significantly pushing back the completion date from its original target in 2028. With the next president scheduled to be inaugurated on January 20th, 2025, their successor may find it too late to change the aircraft's paint scheme again. As a reference, Air Force One is a term used to refer to aircraft owned by the United States Air Force that have been modified and used to transport the president. Air Force One is also often used as a synonym for the primary presidential aircraft, VC-25, although it can refer to any Air Force aircraft used by the President. The idea of designating a special military aircraft for presidential travel emerged during World War II, when military advisors at the Department of War were concerned about the risks of using commercial airlines for presidential travel. The first U.S. president to experience flying on Air Force One was Franklin D. Roosevelt, who traveled to the Yalta Conference in February 1945 aboard a C-54 Skymaster aircraft known as the Sacred Cow. In the following years, the Sacred Cow was also used by Presidents Harry S. Truman. The C-54 Skymaster aircraft first operated in 1942 with a capacity for 50 passengers and a crew of four. The aircraft had a length of 28.6 meters, a height of 8.38 meters, a maximum speed of 443 kilometers per hour, and a cruising altitude of 10,000 feet or 3,000 meters. 
The term Air Force One was created in 1953 after a Lockheed Constellation carrying President Dwight D. Eisenhower nearly collided with Eastern Airlines Flight 8610 above New York City. Air traffic controllers realized the seriousness of the situation when they learned that the president was on board the aircraft. This incident led to the official designation of Air Force One as the radio call sign for any U.S. Air Force aircraft carrying the President of the United States. This designation helped ensure the safety and security of presidential air travel, as well as distinguishing the President's aircraft from others in the airspace. In 1959, President Eisenhower ordered three Boeing 707 aircraft, which became the first jet aircraft designed specifically for presidential travel. Over time, the interior of these presidential aircraft has been continuously modified for comfort and equipped with advanced communication equipment. In 1962, a C-137C aircraft designed specifically for regular use by the President, named SAM-26000, went into operation. This aircraft served three presidents, John F. Kennedy, Lyndon B. Johnson, and Richard Nixon. In 1972, during Richard Nixon's presidency, SAM 26000 was replaced by another Boeing 707, SAM 27000. Nevertheless, SAM 26000 continued to serve as a backup aircraft until 1998. President Kennedy himself did not like the addition of red to the exterior of the aircraft. He felt that the red color made the aircraft look too royal or imperial for a democratically elected leader. Kennedy hired designer Raymond Lowy, who also designed the iconic curved Coca-Cola bottle, to redesign the aircraft's exterior. This design has continued to the current VC-25A aircraft and smaller aircraft acquired for runways too small to accommodate the primary presidential aircraft. However, the new Air Force One, a 7478 model, breaks from Kennedy's previous statement. According to Boeing's official Air Force One website, photos of the 7478 aircraft show a different exterior color scheme in blue, white and red. On September 11, 2001, President George W. Bush used the latest presidential aircraft at that time, a VC-25A from Sarasota Bradenton International Airport. The flight took place after the destruction of the World Trade Center buildings by aircraft in New York. Compared to previous Air Force One aircraft, the VC-25A was the most complete in terms of facilities and air defense. The aircraft had 85 telephone lines and could withstand a nuclear explosion in a wartime scenario. The aircraft was also equipped with a medical area with a blood supply and a complete pharmacy. For the President's comfort, each aircraft had a private suite with a small exercise area, a bathroom, a shower, and a bed. Each aircraft also had its own flying oval office and special situation room. Their defenses included electronic countermeasures, radar jamming, and flares to disrupt enemy missiles. They were also protected against electromagnetic pulses. These aircraft even had their own side exits, eliminating the need for airport stairs, 